What's going on, YouTube? <clears throat> so, you know, I told you guys, like, about these stories that a lot of you don't know. And I'm telling you right now, the things I've experienced in life are much different than a lot of people have experienced in life. And I know this because I can tell how people react to the stories. And here's one. And this story here, I would say, is about environment and how important the environment is. Some of you who've been watching my channel know that uh, while I was going to college, I used to work at this place. It was a criminally insane hospital. I was like the, the QRF, the guy that they would call along with other guys if shit hit the fan, basically. If somebody messed up, if a patient, and, and let me tell you what kind of patients these were. These were men whom, if they didn't want to go to go to jail, you know, like for instance, we had guys in there that chopped hit, chopped his small lover. The guy happened to be, you know, I want to say the word, small people, chopped him up and threw him in the furnace. I was in a hospital watch where I had to guard a patient who, if you saw this man on the street, you would think he's a normal individual. But he cut his stomach open and pulled his intestines out because he thought the CIA had planted a chip in his intestines. These are the type of people whom could be walking the earth right now and <laughs> you may not know it. But that's the type of environment I'm talking about. But I started to know something like my platoon sergeant when I was in the military had said, hey, and it was a state job. He said, hey, I, I got a job for you. You know, come work here while you're going to school, blah, blah, blah. Came over there, got hired, boom, in the system. I'm sitting down having a conversation with a gentleman who happened to be uh, a guard just like myself. And we're sitting there having a conversation. And he starts, you know, you, you I can look at somebody and tell they got someone in mind. And so what's wrong, man? He said, man, I'm tired of the rat race. I'm tired of going through it. I want to move to Hawaii. I was like, why, why? Because you know it's flip-flop living, shorts. It's not all about who you are, what you are, what you wear. It's not all about that. So that conversation's done. Two weeks later, this guy comes to the job and he dyes his hair red. Now this is a black guy. And when I say red, I'm talking about red. Probably like red, like this, this little handle thing I have. Like that extreme, but not that type of red. But extreme, right? And I'm looking at him like, Where'd that come from? I didn't I didn't see that. A week later he killed himself. Put a gun to his mouth, killed himself. Boom. Gone. Same job. Another guard. This guy worked out a lot. His name was Mimager. Nice guy. Guy is the type of guy always had a smile on his face. Worked out a lot. Had been in a divorce, but been, you know, been divorced like 10 years. The guy was 50 years old, built like a brick house. Um, got into a relationship with a girl, a lady. A uh, lady was much younger, 30 something years old, whatever. And he's 50, 30. And what's so funny is a minister actually put them together because the minister said, God told me to put you guys together. So they started talking and it didn't work. So Mimager was like, hey, you know, uh, you know, what's wrong? He tried to get back with this lady. This lady wasn't having it. Long story short, the lady goes to uh, work one day at the job. Mimager walks inside, shoots her in the head. And on the way out the door, boom, shoots himself in the head. Same type of guard. In the environment, criminally, criminally insane. Because in this environment, where it's a criminally insane mental institution, and I'm not saying this is contributing to that, but... There's nothing to see extreme measures. There's nothing to see, you know, to be around people who kill people, death, and, and things that people just want things over the top. Like I had a patient one time that stuck his freaking uh, finger in his eyeball and, 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 pulled out, and basically put out the socket. Because the voices were telling him to do so. So we go on. And this is in Washington State, by the way. So... I go to Washington, every time I go to Washington, sometimes I call over there just to see who's there, see who's, you know, whatever. So I call over there, and I'm talking to this one guard who was there with me, who's kind of stuck. Because that's another video, being stuck in a job. But anyways, 
So call him and I just, you know, you already start calling somebody and say, hey, how's this person, how's that person doing? And then there's one officer named Jury. Um, nice lady, you know? Didn't notice anything, anything weird. Basically drank herself to death. They found her on the floor death, uh, on the floor dead. Now what am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say is this. Human beings are very fragile. You may think you're this strong lion that can put yourself in all types of environments and you'll be fine. You know, you tell somebody, hey, I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't do that. And then one day you're out drinking and you, your, your mind is not there and somebody passes you a cigarette. Next, you know, you know what? This cigarette thing is not bad. Same thing with drinking. Hanging around people that drink. All of a sudden you say, hey, you know what? I don't drink. They said, man, come on, man. It's my celebrate. It's my birthday, man. Come on, celebrate with me. Next thing you know, they pass you a shot, you're taking a shot, and then you say, you know what, drinking is not that bad. Working out, talk to a guy today, working out. The guy, as soon as you walk in, and see, that's the thing about working out. When you, when you work out and you're in an environment where people get to know you and you don't show up, people ask you, where you been? So he walks in, where you been? And the dude tells me he's been going for 10 weeks. And this guy, young dude, working out, gains and then he tells me well it's like I got a star back all over again because it got hooked up in the party environment where he was like you know what it's all those weights and muscles and stuff whatever is crazy you know those people walk around on earth like that who wants to go to a gym and take a barbell and just lift it a hundred times that's boring who wants to do that kind of lifestyle I look I just want to have fun in life your environment is key people the people around you can form your thoughts and opinions. You have a business idea and you bring it up around, um, you know, people who aren't strong minded. You probably won't do that idea a lot of the times. I'm not saying that you're going to listen to everything they say, but the one thing you may listen to them could be the one ticket that gets you out of your situation. So my advice is this. Choose your environment carefully. Understand that you're fragile. That anything that you see as something could persuade you to do something. Hang around lions. Not the sheep. Lions. Because lions will prove to you. This is the first thing that lions will prove to you. That whatever you're pursuing is not that hard. Because they were already achieved it. you actually look at it. Like Harvard may be intimidating to some people. But if you're around the person that went to Harvard, they will probably give you the secret. Like, dude, all you got to do is break every, everything you think that is difficult. You need to break it down from A to Z. Don't worry about Z. Worry about A. And then once you've understood A, then move on to B. And then it's and then it's building blocks to get to the answer. And then you may say, you know what? Harvard isn't that bad. I'm going to apply for Harvard. Lions. That's all I can say, people. So I hope this story kind of like helped some of you to understand that you can do it. Environment is key and it, an environment helps mold you. So with that said, guys, thank you guys for watching this channel. Please subscribe. And until next time, signing off.